Welcome to the Big Picture Retirement Show, where you'll learn what it really takes to have a successful retirement. With over 20 years of experience, your host, Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group has seen it all and is here to help you achieve your retirement dreams. This is the Big Picture Retirement Show. Once again, you're tuning into the Big Picture Retirement Show. I'm your host, Rick Rivera. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. And for those of you that are new listeners, I want to share with you exactly what the Big Picture Retirement Show is about. What we try to do is give you tools and strategies that will allow you to enhance whatever it is that you've been able to accomplish when it comes to your retirement planning. Now, some of you listening to the show might be five years away from retirement. Some of you might be already retired. Whatever the case may be, we want to look at your retirement planning, your investment planning, and all the rest of it, your estate planning, from that big picture approach, looking at things from all different angles. So it's not just you know about chasing return in the market. What it is is about, of course, looking at the investments from different angles and making sure that everything is running as efficiently as possible. But also we look at your taxes. We give you ideas regarding your trust and will planning. We talk about your pensions. We talk about social security, the ways to minimize taxes on those things, how to maximize those things and eke out every penny out of your pensions and social security and a variety of other topics. So we're looking at your, your investment planning, your estate planning, your retirement planning from all angles. So even reduction of fees and all the rest of it. So again, looking at things from that big picture approach. Now today, what I want to talk about is a a topic that I actually want to bring back because I've been getting a lot of questions lately. And the topic that I want to discuss today is long-term care. Now, Lately, I've been getting a lot of people that have been coming in and into our firm and asking us, hey, you know, or even, you know, through our workshop saying, hey, you know, when's a good time for me to start planning for long term care? Uh, Because we know some of you listening to the show, maybe you've had family members that have gone through it. Maybe you have friends or, or other individuals that, you know, working associates that have experienced Uh, their family members or friends uh, going through long-term care, whether they had to go to a nursing home or whether they needed care in the home or assisted living facilities. And, you know, quite frankly, I have some clients that tell me, hey, Rick, you know what? You know, I have a a son or daughter that, you know, is a nurse and they'll take care of me. I'm really not worried about it. And then I have others that are like, Rick, you know what? I don't want to be a burden on my children. Last thing I want to be is a burden on them. I don't want them to have to take care of me. And I, at the same time, you know, if, if me or my spouse have to go to a nursing facility or we need care in the home, we know it can be quite costly and I don't want to leave the surviving spouse, you know, destitute because of the cost, you know, cause literally, you know, some of these expenses can be five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars a month and up that can totally eat into our savings. So, you know, what's the best way for me to, to plan for this? And many times we'll have individuals that will, you know, tell us that, Hey, you know, it's really not on their for the forefront of their mind. You know, it's something that they'll think about planning later on when the time comes. And my question would be, well, what time? Because if you wait till the incident to occur, it just may be too late. Now I'm going to give you some uh, different options today. And I want you to also, um, consider something. Some of you listening to a show think, Oh, well, long-term care planning, you know, you're thinking of the you know 90 year old that's in a nursing home sitting in a wheelchair and that is not always the case as a matter of fact i can't tell you even young people today that end up in a long term care or need um assisted living or uh need someone to come to their home in order to uh take care of them due to it could have been a car accident it could have been a hiking accident now you know, when we talk about long-term care facilities, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be in there forever. It could be a situation where somebody, you know, God forbid, was in a car accident or a hiking accident or some sort of activity. They were in an accident and now they need physical therapy. They need uh, uh, to get well. And many times, once the hospital is done with you doing their their part of the care, you know, doing the initial um, repairing, they will send you to a long-term care facility to then recover. You don't recover in the hospital and get your physical therapy and all that there. 
So for many people, your health insurance only covers you for maybe 60 or 90 days. If you need care longer than that, then the bill is actually on you. So this is where now those costs can eat into your estate. And I've known individuals that were in an accident, had gone to the hospital, got surgery. And then of course, after the surgery, went directly to a long-term care facility. So the question is, when is a good time to plan for it? When is a good time to at least get the information and do a little homework and find out, is this something that I should take into consideration? And what I will tell you is this, the earlier you start your planning, or at least getting some information, which I'm going to give you uh, today, the better off you're going to be. Because if you decide to plan for it, the earlier you do it, the easier it's going to be. The challenge that many people run into is that if they wait till an incident to occur, or they wait till way later on in life, and their health changes and situations change, then it may become impossible for them to have proper planning done because they waited too late. And the earlier you start planning, the better off you're going to be. Almost like with just, you know, even with your your, your savings, it's kind of like that where, you know, somebody that starts saving at 30, you know, is going to have a much easier time than somebody that decides, hey, they're going to start uh, uh, saving at 50 and they're like, you know, 15 years away from retirement as opposed to 30 years from retirement. They're going to have to do a lot more heavy lifting and make a lot more sacrifices to get to the same numbers because they don't have as much time on their side before retirement. So the same thing when it comes to long-term care. Now, if you have any questions about any of the topics I'm going to be discussing on the show here today, and I'm going to talk about a few different ways that you can handle this issue when it comes to long-term care. But if you have any topics regarding long-term care, or maybe you have questions regarding topics outside of what I'm discussing today, maybe you got questions about your own retirement planning or your investment planning or taxes or social security or pensions or how it's going to work in your situation, or maybe some of you are getting ready to retire and you're like, Hey Rick, you know, I, I have a lump sum pension option or annuity option. The company's given me, and I'm not sure which is going to be best. Should I take the monthly or should I take the lump sum? What would be best in my situation? Or how do I maximize my social security? You know, and and, and the questions go on and on. Or is there anything I can do in order to minimize taxes in retirement? Or even minimize taxes now? That would be a good reason to call us. And call us now, toll free, 800-700-1980. And I'll be happy to give you an hour of my time and um, review your scenario. And I can give you, I can guarantee within an hour, I'll give you at least two ideas that will enhance whatever it is that you're doing. Or if you prefer, we could even do a conference call or what we call a strategy call where I can do a strategy call with you, a Zoom meeting, and, uh, and give you some ideas, ideas there as well. Now, let's jump right into it, and let's start talking about some things that we should take into consideration when it comes to long-term care planning. Because the whole idea is not to be in a scenario where we may have to spend down the estate in order to cover this, or be a burden on the family or on the children. So one way that a person can go, you know, get traditional long-term care insurance. Now we know advantages and we also know disadvantages, but I'm going to go over those things with you. I mean, the advantage of long-term care insurance is, you know, let's face it, if, uh, as long as you're, you know, um, you're healthy and you qualify, you pay a premium every month. And if you end up in a long-term care facility, the insurance company pays the bill for you. But here's the thing. One of the biggest challenges with traditional long-term care insurance or some, or the biggest issue that many people have with it is, let's face it, there is no guarantee that we may need long-term care and let's pray to God that we never will need it. However, as you're making these premium payments each and every year or every each and every month into, the, into this particular account or, in, or insurance policy in order to protect yourself from that, you know, as costs rise with long-term care, many times these insurance companies raise the premiums on you. So as time goes on, if they keep raising premiums on you, well, that can eat into your budget. That can eat into your, you know, your monthly expenses. And quite frankly, could get to the point where maybe you can't afford it anymore. And if you decide to cancel it, they're not going to send you your money back because you didn't use it. And let's say, God forbid, you pass on and let's say you never used it, they're certainly not going to send your premium payments back to your kids or your family or your spouse. Say, hey, listen, you know what? 
uh, mom and dad didn't use this money for long-term care, so and they've been making premium payments all these years. And uh, so we'll just go ahead and give it to you since they never used it. It doesn't work that way. So these are some of the challenges that, that people have with uh, traditional long-term care insurance. So the question is, what other options are out there? Now, of course, long-term care insurance is one way, but there's other uh, products out there where what you can do is you actually can put in, if you, if you want a certain amount of coverage, you can put in a lump sum amount into an account and get protection from long-term care. So let me give you an example. Let's say um, we want X amount of coverage. We're like, hey, listen, you know what? I want to be covered for $6,000 a month for X amount of time. What will happen is in some of these plans, what they will do based on your health and your age, what they will do is they'll say, okay, you need to put in, let's say 50,000, 80,000, hundred thousand, whatever the number is based on the type of coverage you want, age and health and all the rest of it. And what they'll do is they'll say, okay, once you put in that lump sum amount in, we're going to give you this particular coverage that you're looking for. Now, the advantage is once you put that lump sum in down the road, if for whatever reason you need to cancel that account, or let's just say, you know, uh, Medicare changes their laws or health insurance changes their position on long-term uh, care, and now they cover it for as long as you're going to be in there, you might say, hey, listen, I don't need this thing anymore. Well, you can cancel it and get your money back. And depending on how long you've been in it, you may even get a little bit of like savings account interest on top of it as well. So the money's completely liquid. So it's not lost. So in a way, what you're doing is you're actually able to protect yourself from long-term care without throwing the money away in the event that you never need it or never use it. The other advantage of it is that if you pass away and you never used it, your family will get a multiple of what you put in tax-free. So maybe if you put in um, 50,000 lump sum into this account, maybe they get 100 or 150,000 tax-free. Again, the numbers are all based on the coverage you want and age and everything else. But again, if you need long-term care, you now have your 50,000 now may look like 150,000 towards long-term care tax-free as well. So it covers all your bases. And at the same time, if you don't use it, you don't lose it. Now, there's some other uh, options I want to cover with you, but real quick, I want to take a, a break. And after the break, I'm going to cover, cover some other options regarding long-term care, different avenues on how to protect yourself. So we'll be right back. You're listening to the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. For more information about Rick and the Safeguard Investment Advisory Group team, go to safeguardinvestment.com. While you're there, you can also download educational retirement guides and sign up for an upcoming seminar. That's safeguardinvestment.com. Now back to the podcast. And we're back. And once again, you're listening to the Big Picture Retirement Show. I'm your host, Rick Rivera. Again, if you have any questions regarding any of the topics we're discussing on the show here today, please give us a call toll-free 800-700-1980. Again, toll-free 800 700 1980. You can reach us on the web at safeguardinvestment.com. Again, that is safeguardinvestment.com. If you have questions outside of these topics, and maybe you're just like, hey, Rick, you know, I really like to get a second opinion on my investment planning, my retirement planning. You know, if there's any strategies I can use in order to maximize my pensions or social security or minimize taxes, or even maybe minimize fees on my investments, or, you know, uh, maybe I work for Kaiser or I work for the gas company or electric company and I know I get this lump sum pension, but I'm not sure if, you know, it's better for me to take the monthly guaranteed amount that they're going to give me or take the lump sum. What would be best for me, you know, over the long haul and my spouse? If you have questions like that, give me a call right now. Be happy to give you a no obligation analysis. Or if you prefer, we can even do a strategy call. You speak to me directly. I guarantee you within 45 minutes, I'll be able to give you two ideas that'll enhance whatever it is that you're, you're currently doing. If you care to take advantage of that, there's no cost, no obligation or anything like that. It's just an opportunity for me to get to know you and um, see if there's anything you can do to enhance what it is you've already been able to accomplish. Now, if you care to take advantage of that, just give us a call directly, 800-700-1980. You can also reach us on the web at Safeguard 
investment.com. So we're talking about long-term care right now. And I discussed a couple of different ways you can go as far as addressing it. For those of you that are concerned about it and just kind of want to know, hey, what are some of my options? Well, one way we discussed was actually just getting traditional long-term care insurance. Um, we discussed some of the disadvantages of uh, traditional long-term care insurance as well. And then the other thing we talked about was a, a program where you can actually put a lump sum of money into it. And if down the road you need long-term care, you have a multiple of what you put in tax-free you can use for long-term care. But if you never use it, and at some point, if you decide to cancel it, you can get your money out of it so it's not lost. And if, God forbid, you pass away, um, your beneficiaries can get a multiple of what you put in tax-free to your beneficiaries. So again, the money is not lost. It's not just sunk into a hole that you'll never see again on the remote chance that you may or may not you know, need long-term care. And again, these particular plans I'm discussing cover you not only for a nursing home, but let's face it, depending upon the situation, you may not need a full-blown nurse to come in your home to take care, or I'm sorry, you may not need a full-blown nurse to take care of you, so you may not need to be in a long-term care facility. Maybe you just need somebody to come into the house, a skilled worker to do some of the heavy lifting, such as cooking, cleaning, you know, lifting you uh, from from the bed to the shower, you know, things of that nature. Basically, what they call this is activities of daily living that you need some help with. So these these plans cover for that. Now, the other option is, again, if we're concerned about, hey, listen, I don't want to put money into a traditional long-term care type of product because if I don't use it, I don't want to lose my money. I don't want it to be sunk in a hole. Well, with that same plan where I was talking about earlier where you put a lump sum amount in, whether it's 50000 80000 100000 just depending upon what type of coverage you want and and all the other variables, you might say, well, Rick, I don't have a lump sum amount that I could just throw into something like that. Well, then option B to that same type of benefit is you actually can choose a monthly payment. Maybe you do like, let's say, for example, a 20-year pay or a 10-year pay or a lifetime pay, however you want to do it. But what they'll do is let's just say you chose, hey, I want to do a 20-year pay into this thing because I can't, you know, I don't want to dump 100 grand into this thing or 50 grand into this thing. Then what they'll do is they'll say, hey, again, based on age and different parameters, they might say, okay, put in $500 a month now for the next 20 years. When you turn 65 or 70 or whatever the age is going to be, you no longer have to make another premium payment. You're done. You don't have to put another dollar in it. You don't have to worry about premiums rising on you. If you decide to cancel it, you get all your your premiums back. Maybe a little bit of savings account uh, interest on top of it. If you pass away and never use the money from day one, your beneficiaries get a uh, a tax-free death benefit. And you can still protect yourself from long-term care without throwing the money away. So it's another way of doing it without losing the money and not needing to put a lump sum amount in if that's something that you can't quite afford or if it just works out better based upon your situation where you rather just do um, a monthly payment for a fixed amount of time and then be done. So you don't have to make premium payments for the rest of your life. But now you're able to have that issue covered. Now, if you have questions on how it would work in your situation, you can always call us. We can run an illustration for you. We can explain this in a little bit more detail and even just give you a base amount of information for you to at least sink your teeth in based on your situation. And then you, you know, it can be designed around you because for those of you that do have the assets, another way you can go is you can actually self-insure. And there's nothing wrong with self-insuring. If you're going to go that route, you want to make sure you're using the most tax-efficient manner possible. So here's the thing. I've seen a lot of long-term care sales people out there. What you need to look for is a long-term care advisor. Someone that's actually going to look at your specific situation, figure out what your concerns are, and design a plan around you. Yes, long-term care insurance is one way you can go, but there are other options as well that might suit you better. The other point that I want to make is that you may be able to use a combination of different options together based upon your situation. So let me give you an example. What do you mean, Rick, by a couple of different options? Well, let's say, you know, obviously we don't want to over-insure either. Let's say, for example, that, you know, you want to be covered for $8,000 a month if, God forbid, you, you should need that type of care. And... You know for a fact that you're like, 
eh, with my, you know, social security, my pensions and everything else. I don't have a lot of debt. You know, I could cover three grand a month of it myself. Well, then then maybe what you do is get coverage that covers you for 5,000. You don't need to get coverage that's going to cover you for 8,000. So again, this is where we can put a couple of different strategies together to solve the issue. So that way, again, we're not over insuring as well. So this is again, where a good advisor will sit down with you and design a plan around you. And I've even had scenarios where, you know, we had clients that have money that they weren't touching and we were able to use the interest off of those investments to pay for the long-term care. So again, it really was just another strategy that they use and we were able to use the investments on a tax efficient manner in order to structure protecting them from long-term care. Now, here's the thing. On this show, I'm going over everything in very general terms. So what I would suggest is this. If you'd like to know more about this in detail and all the different options that are out there, because there's a few other options that I don't even have time to cover today, but if you'd like to know more about this and you're just like, hey, listen, you know what? I just want to be a little educated on this so that way I can at least decide what's best for me and my spouse if it is a concern of yours. And remember, the earlier you start planning for something like this, the better off you're going to be, the easier it's going to be for you. And don't think that long-term care, needing some, a nurse to come in to take care of or a skilled worker to come in and take care of you is something that is, you know, for, for the, you know, you're, you're picturing it, you know, you being 90 years old in a nursing home. No, it could be as something as simple as God forbid you have an accident and now you need that care to get you past, you know, your physical therapy and all the rest of it until you can then take care of yourself again. So here's what I'm going to do because this is a very complicated topic. And I want you to understand there are different options out there. If you call the show right now, 800 700 1980. What I'll do is I'll be happy to run you a specific illustration on your scenario. That way you can figure out what makes sense for you. If it's even within your budget to plan for this or maybe plan for it partial way. Because again, if you don't, it don't, you know, if you don't need a, a nurse specifically, again, a skilled worker is going to be much less expensive than having a nurse come in every day. So we can discuss all those different things. And unfortunately, this brings me to the close of the show. But if you want to know or get some more information on this, give me a call directly, 800-700-1980. We even have a brochure that covers this topic as well that we can send to you. We can actually email it to you, but we can also send it to you in the mail, whichever way you prefer. If you care to take advantage of it, give us a call toll free 800-700-1980 right now. You can also reach us on the web at Safeguard Investment. You guys have a great day and look forward to talking to you next week. Firm offers insurance services. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is a registered investment advisory firm. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any references to protection, safety, or lifetime income generally refer to fixed insurance products, never securities, or investments. Insurance guarantees are backed by the financial strength and claims-paying abilities of the issuing carrier. This radio show is intended for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the particular needs of an individual situation. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is not permitted to offer and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. The information and opinions contained herein provided by third parties have been obtained from sources believed to be reliable. But accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC. This radio show is a paid placement.